Hey everybody, Anthony here from Grooming by Rudy. Thanks for checking out this video. Welcome back to the show. So today we're jumping right into it, guys. I have Marley, this sweet little, actually I'm going to let you guys tell me what he is. Uh, he's either a really, really small golden doodle or a really, really big mini doodle. Um, so we, Marley's a really good boy. We've been grooming him for a couple of years. Um, and Today we're going to focus on a bath. We don't do a whole lot of bath videos, so we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of bathing today. Today we're going to be using Oatmella. If you guys have been with us for a while on this channel, you know that we rave about Oatmella. It is a very therapeutic oatmeal shampoo. Marley had some skin problems in the past, and it's been very, very good for him. It's always worked. Um, it, it has molecula and I don't know how the hell you say that word. You guys, again, let me, let me know. I don't know what that word is all about. So yeah, we're going to jump right into it and, um, and we're going to give Marley a good bath. So I'm going to get the water going. I'm making my dad laugh if you hear him snorting back there. So always test the water on the hand away from the dog. That way you're not, in case it's too cold or too, too hot. You want to do that sometimes it takes a sip it's cold so if you want you thirsty no okay all right so marley is a good boy there's one or two things he's not crazy about he's not crazy about this ear right here so i'm going to be very careful when i approach that and sometimes he doesn't really he's not a big fan of me touching his front legs but we'll see sometimes he lets me sometimes he doesn't other than that he's a really good boy all right water's warm now Told you I was going to talk a little bit about the importance of baths. I'm also going to give you guys a few tips along the way. So right off the bat, try to bathe the dog the same way every time. How you're comfortable with it is how you're comfortable with it. There are right and wrong ways to do it as far as some of the more dangerous stuff, like uh, getting uh, getting soap in the eyes and water down the ears and all that. But as far as like the actual bath itself, do it how you're comfortable doing it, but do it the same way every time. So for example, you'll notice I'm not wetting his head just yet. His head is still dry. I'm focusing on the body, wetting the body all down and everything. Um, I like to do it like this because dogs aren't ever crazy about getting water sprayed on their face and all of that stuff. So I don't like to piss them off right away. So I do the body first and I do it this way every single time. Uh, it's just never been worth it to me to wet down the dog's head right away unless the dog has fleas. It's been flea and tick season around here lately in New Jersey. So uh, in that case, since the flea dip has to sit on the dog longer, I will wet the head down right away because I got to get it all over the dog and it has to sit. Okay, so his body's all wet down. I'm going to grab some soap. All right, I always start with the back just because it's right there. It's in your face. Get a good lather going. can reach over, get that side going. Get the belly going a little bit. This stuff lathers really, really good. I'm probably guilty of caking too much of it on just because I have a little bit of a, oh, you give me kisses, good boy, Marley. Um, I have a little thing with like, if I don't have every single part of the dog absolutely over lathered, I feel like I'm not doing a good job. So I, I admit I, uh, I grab a little too much soap. I should be, what you wanna do here is, you know, you add a little water like this and it, it lathers it for you. Um, so I'm a little bit wasteful when it comes to that, but let's see how you do on this first front leg here. Yeah, see, it's cute. He's trying to lick me, but sometimes that's the dog's nice way of saying, let go of my damn leg. So I'm going to kind of get in there and get out. Okay. So back to how I'm telling you guys to do it the same way every time. So this is how I do it every time. Start with the back. I reach over a little bit, but we're going to get that later do this, I do the front leg, and then I come to do the back. So, I'm going to work down this back leg, and then this, this is where I'm saying do it how you're comfortable, because I don't know why, but for some reason, I start here, I come to the back leg, so you'd think that I stick with this one side, and I just do this whole side, but for whatever reason, I don't know, I go from this leg to the tail, and then I do the other rear leg, just because dogs sit a lot in the tub, and that is very, if any of you uh, are professional dog bathers or bathe your own dog at home in kind of in like an elevated tub like this, 
they sit a lot when you go to their rear. A lot of dogs don't like their rear. So this is a part where dog's already wet. I'm not too worried about making him mad anymore. This is the part where I don't want to deal with this later because I'm going to be a little more tired by the end of this bath. So I try to get the whole rear done nice and early on in the bath. And that's as far as I take that. We will go. You're going to see me work around now. Now, I don't know how much you can see of my hands, so I'm going to try to sneak around this corner. I, I put like one hand under the dog, reach underneath, grab this paw, get underneath his pad, scrub the crud out. And then this part right here, this whole area requires a lot of scrubbing. The rear area is always going to be a little extra dirty because they go to the bathroom, the hair stuff gets stuck on the hair, you know, all that stuff. This is also a good example of why a good bath with a good shampoo is so important because it's, it's going to lead to a better finish. You cannot get a good finish on a dog like this that requires a haircut without a really, really good bath. And, 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 I, and I mean really good. You can't, you can't put a dog like this with a coat like this. This coat, it'll, it'll tangle up. You have to keep, this is a very high maintenance dog. It'll tangle up, it'll mat up if you're missing grooming appointments or if you're not brushing the dog at home. Not every dog lets you brush it at home. I understand that, but got to get to the groomer a little more often if that's the case. So on a dog like this, especially, it is so important to get a good bath going. Always brush before the bath, but you already knew that because you guys are professionals. We're turning you into professionals. Okay, so rear's done. This is where I'll reach over and I'll start getting this other side. Now, I'm gonna show you guys something. It's a skippable step. I'm always thinking of the dog's comfort. So you see how he's here? I'm sort of done with this side. I gotta get over to the other side. Sometimes you turn the dog. You can turn the dog. There you go, buddy. Now, he's gonna be a little timid because I never do this to him. I'm just showing you guys. You could turn the dog and now you make it easier for yourself. But did you see how timid he was, me turning him around? Usually, I don't do that. Usually, what I do is I just reach over and I, and I, I kind of break my back a little bit for the comfort of them so that way they could just stay looking in the same spot, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put him back. I just wanted to show you guys. You could do this, but here, come on. I'll go back to where you're comfortable. Come here, baby. So I'm going to show you guys. This is usually, I usually just reach all the way over get it done that way that way he doesn't have to you know he got he got nervous there you see he doesn't like that I never do that to him I was just doing to show you guys but as an example of the dog's comfort dogs are always going to be more comfortable when you just leave them in the same spot leave them be they're used to it he doesn't want to you know he's afraid he's going to slip he's not because we have a pad here but he's a dog he doesn't know that so and uh I always I reach over and I do everything I need to do. It is backbreaking. I'm on my tippy toes right now. And they're burning. It's burning. It does not feel good. But you saw how he reacted when I turned him around. So it's a little, it's a minor sacrifice. I'm just, I'm, I'm kidding. My, I got strong legs. They do burn, but. It's not that bad. All right, I'm gonna get this paw a little bit better because he's not crazy about it. So I'm gonna, I came back to it here. Okay, so we're approaching the head now. Nothing else I could do. Get the belly a little bit better. All right. This is the only part of the bath coming up right here that sometimes it depends on, this is the only part I do different sometimes. Sometimes I'll rinse the whole dog before I start the head. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just go right into the head because soap comes off the head. It gets down in the body. So it's like I look at it as, eh, why, why bother rinsing all this now when the soap, when I'm doing the head, is going to kind of come down here anyway. Depends on the mood I'm in. Um, I, I guess today I'm in the mood to rinse the body first. So I'm just going to rinse them first. Um, not all the way, just because it takes a little more time that way. So if you're going to do... A rinse. If you're going to do it like me, 
you know, you get, you get a little rinse going, but you don't have to do, you don't have to rinse the whole dog just yet because you're going to redo all this anyway. Plus, we don't know what's going to happen. You see all the soap down there, soap in the dirty water. Between now and the time that I'm done with the bath, he might sit in that. He might lay down, take a break or whatever. So you might be re-rinsing him anyway. So that's kind of a reason why I usually just leave all the soap on him for a few minutes. Let it do its thing while I work on his head. So I'm just going to give him kind of a quick once over. And now we're going to move on to the head. All right. So the head, like I said in the beginning of the video, he is not crazy about this ear, his left ear. Um, he had some stuff going on with it. But... Uh, when he was younger and he just always has become head shy with it so we are going i know this dog i know he is not quick to aggression or anything like that so i'm i'm gonna see what he lets me get away with but i'm not gonna force the issue he does not like this ear being messed with so i'm also going to kind of let up on the plunger a little bit i'm not going to go full force with it i'm going to kind of do that a little bit there we go you see how he's kind of just like always looking at it. Not so much this year. He doesn't really care about this year. But this year, he's always on alert. Um, so we're not gonna we're not gonna take that too far. I'm gonna clean it, but it's gonna be sort of an in and out kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you how I do ears a little bit more extensively on his other ear that he doesn't mind so much, and then this one I'm gonna kind of fly through. You'll you'll see. Unless he doesn't give me a problem. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to save the ears for last on the head. Again, most dogs don't really like that. It's a high-risk area. Very, very easy to get water down the ear by mistake. And uh, it's unfortunate that it's such an easy mistake to make and can lead to so many problems. So it's, it's one of the... I do a lot of the baths here, and it is always in my mind. If it's not important to you, you're going to make the mistake. So you have to always be afraid of that. The head. This dog is this dog is good on his head. I know a lot of you guys out there who are bathing your dogs at home or your professional groomer. Uh, there are some dogs that are just impossible, and what choice do you have but to just sit there <laughs> and try to get it done? There's just nothing you could do. Some dogs are just like you're not. You're, we're not doing this today, and God bless you. It's 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 very difficult. Okay, this was nice and quick. I like to do a little, a little under the eyes. Nice and gentle over the eyes. A lot of times there's crud here. It makes the bath take five extra minutes right off the bat because now you got you got to dig, you got all of that. You're re-rinsing the head because you don't want soap getting in the eyes. Look at you. No soap in the eyes. You're an angel. Okay. We're going to get this ear done. So first off, I just do the, do the outside. Do the outside. And then I flip. And I get a nice little scrub going on the inside. Not this. Just this. The hair. This will get cleaned later with some cotton ball and some pro ear. I'm gonna do this, and there you go, that's it. All right, so now this year, we're just gonna get it done. Real quick, real quick. Hmm. Of course he's turning me into a liar. He was better on the ear that he hates than he was on the other ear. Go figure. Did you turn me into a liar, Marley? You're such a good dog. Very quick. It's good. It's it's this end part. These this this part is the part that needs to be cleaned. You know this. All the soap's going to come down and get it a little bit. You don't have to over worry about this. But this I've seen this mat up. I've seen this knot up. It's hard for my dad to get a good finish when this is all knotted up. This dog was prepped and brushed out. But uh, I'm, I'm I always I always want this to come out good, nice and clean. So it's like you're folding a shirt. Okay, you're you're soaped up. Sorry. Okay. Um, sometimes a dog will let you soap their head. This is the problem I run into the most. They let you soap their head, and then they hate when you rinse it. There's always a challenge lurking somewhere in this business, but we do it because we have to. All right. So this is what I mean by, see all, all this soap, it's kind of falling back down into here. That's why I was saying before, like, you don't really have to rinse that, that hard before you do the head, if you're going to wait on the head like I do, just because more soap is going to get on the body. All right, so really quick before we move on, this is how I rinse the ears. I know I already rinsed them, but I could still run the water and show you guys. So I'll hold the ear like this, 
so that we're not squirting. You know, you don't want to be squirting and, and it's going to shoot up into the ear. It is so, so easy to get water. I know, buddy, in the ear. So I do a little squirt out here. And then this is the scary part because you got to rinse the inside. Just flop it, put it against the dog like this. See how it's resting on the dog? And just, there we go. I know the soap is gone already, but it comes off real easy in the ear. This hair is really fine on a breed like this. There you go. It's rinsed. There was absolutely no chance of getting any water in the ear. This one, a little bit of a different angle. I'm reaching over. We're back on the burning tippy toes. And we're going to do this. I'm going to flop it away, and we're going to squirt away from his ear canal. I usually do this much faster, but I want to show you guys. This is very important. I can't imagine how many ear infections have happened, and... and, and you did it by accident. You have no idea what you even did wrong. You're just trying to take care of your dog. You're trying to give it a bath, take care of it. And next thing you know, they got an ear infection. What the hell happened? It's that. You got water in the ear by mistake. It's fixable in a lot of cases, but you just want to avoid that. It's, it's not great. Okay. You're such a good boy, Marley. All right. So his head's rinsed. Now we're going to... Now we're going to do the more extensive rinse. The good thing is I kind of did a, a, a decent enough one before, so this isn't going to take very long. But that's going to be it. To hammer down the point that baths are important is if we took this dog in, first of all, if we took this dog in and didn't give him a prep, br big brush out, get all the knots out, anything that's stuck, just a little prep and then we put him right in the tub that's that's a big no-no any knot that he had beforehand is now a mat because you wet it and you strengthened it and now good luck shaving that out good luck making the dog look good after that so you want to do a good prep and it's so important to do a good bath because if you're looking to get results if you're looking to get that nice finished look that you see on our channel, that you see on other groomers' channels, uh, you're not going to get that without a proper prep, but most of all, a proper bath. He's rinsed, and now I'm going to clear the drain out, but that is it. So, yeah, you, you need to do a good bath. This took a little longer. It always, things always take a little longer when we're trying to teach you guys stuff because we're moving slower uh, within reason. Sometimes we do still have to get it, get it done and get the dog out because he's tired. He's panting. He wants to go lay down. This is where he gets his break. He's going to go in the cage. He's going to dry for a little while. But yeah, without, without me doing this, without me doing, going that extra mile and getting the soap in here and cleaning the ears, even though he doesn't like it, without me getting underneath this pad and getting all that dirt out and really, and scrubbing, you know, I think this, not so much this, you know, if you're, if you're working the soap in, like that, like, like you saw me doing. Scrub, clean it, clean it, get, get it in there. Um, then you're gonna see that the, the, the fluffiness or the, the, in some other breeds, the straight, the straightness of the hair, whatever, whatever breed you have, whatever look you're going for, just becomes that much better. And you need to do a good bath for this. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck to you guys. I know this dog is really good. Uh, good luck to you guys who, 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 whose dogs absolutely hate the bath. I know it's out there, um, but you'll get there. Be patient. They're dogs. They don't know. And sometimes they just don't like things just like people do. So this dog's going to get blow dried, finished. He's going to come out super, super good. We love Marley. I hope this video helped you guys. Good luck to all of you. God bless you all. If this video did help you, please leave a like. It's the best way to support our channel. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you share the video. A lot of you guys are sharing lately, and it really, really helps us out. We love all of you guys. Thanks so much for spending this time with us. 